Hi, I'm Ozzy, and I'll be your guide through this next video in the Learn Bondix series. Today, we're going to go over the installation of the Bondix client software on a Teltonica RUTX 14. However, this guide will be the same for any of the Teltonica RUT or RUTX series of routers. First, we need to head over to the Bondix Intelligence website to download the client software. Uh, link is in the description. You'll see the end user license agreement. Um, click on agree to continue. Because we're installing the Bondix client software on an RUTX 14, we need to go to the RUTX section of the software downloads. As you can hear, see here, it says that the router will need to be on a firmware newer than 07027. However, the best way to see the firmware version that you need to match the client software to, you can see it in the file name. In this particular case, the router will need to be on 07041. If you download this client software and try to install it on a router that is not on 07041, it will fail and it will turn around and say that it's not uh, meant for this version of the software. If you've not upgraded your router yet, uh, you'll need to do this first. Uh, if you've never done this before, please go and watch our Upgrading Your Teltonica Router Firmware video, uh, which is part of our Learn Teltonica series. So let's download the software. Uh, once downloaded, we'll head over to the router and we'll log in locally. Put our username and password in. There are a few things that we need to do first before we install anything. Uh, you can see that we're on firmware 07041 uh, and we need to change from basic mode to advanced. Now we need to head over to uh, network and then go to DNS. Once there, you need to make sure that you've got public DNS server set up. Uh, as you can see here, we've got quad eight, we've got quad nine, we've got quad one, and we've got 8.8.4.4. Um, the top and bottom is the uh, Google DNS and the two middle ones are Cloudflare. You can choose whichever um, public DNS servers you want, but you've got to have these in place first. Next, we'll go over to services. We will scroll down to package manager and then we'll go to upload. We'll click on the browse button and then what we'll do is we will find the download that we just got from the Bondix website. That will now upload. Um, shortly we will get a message saying that it's an authorized package. Do we want to proceed? Uh, we will say proceed. This will now install the software. This can take a few minutes to complete. Um, uh, depending on your router and its uh, processing capability. We'll give it a couple, uh, um, a minute to do the installation. Once it's installed, it will ask you to reboot. Um, simply click on reboot to reboot the router. And uh, once that will take a couple of minutes to come back up. There we go. So we'll click on reboot. We'll wait for that to reboot and come back up. So we'll log back in. Once we're back in and we've logged in, we'll go over to network and you will see that there is now the Bondix saying client installed and it's now ready um, to connect out uh, with your connection settings. That's it. That's all there is to it. Happy bonding. See you again next time.